More lag. Starport. Oh dear. Um, yeah, it's it's quite an interesting game. Looks like uh, we're going to be focusing on high Templars and a ground army for the Protoss, though. I would have thought maybe he could have gone for like mothership by this point in the game, but as we uh, most of you probably already know, the mothership is not the most efficiently uh, decent unit to get anymore. It used to be, but it's been pretty much nerfed into the ground. Another battle going off here. Size Storm is kicking ass. Go, Size Storm. Do your work. Look at it. It's done a lot of damage, but at the same time, the Protoss has taken a whole ton of damage as well before all of the bio army, the Terran, died. The Protoss is in a good position here. He survived a lot, but can he survive? Can he really do enough damage before the Terran can rebuild? With all of those buildings in his base? I don't think so. The Protoss is going to have to run away again here. And the Terran can just keep on pumping out units so fast. I mean, he's got a couple of reactors which really help as well for massing out units. But uh, he's, for the most part, he's just got tons and tons of buildings with tech labs, which give him a whole range of decent units to spam out. Wow, look at this. There's huge armies coming up. Even though the Protoss has been doing high Templar Psy Storms, as we can see, it doesn't seem to stop the Terran from massing bio units. So. There's something to look at there, really, isn't there? I mean, surely at this point, these players are both very good players. So why is he still continuing to make mass marines and marauders? When he knows that High Templars are spamming Sly Storms all over the place. Hmm. I'll let you answer that. So we can see another attack is going to be going down. Maybe the Protoss can catch out some units that are being rallied. Yes, he can. The rest of the Terran army is not far by. Uh, not far by. <laughs> close by. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, we can see Graviton Beam being used against a couple of units. Not that it's going to do too much. Clearly not enough. Oh, look at that. The Psy Storm go down on the uh, Marine Marauders, but this is why he's still going Bio Army. Because with all of those Medifacts, and with mostly... Marauders. The Terran can actually pretty much sit inside of those Psy Storms. I mean, he is a good player and he does tend to be moving out of them. But he almost doesn't have to, to be quite honest with you. Psy Storm is really not that great. Not for the cost that it takes to get to it. If it was a lot cheaper to get to Psy Storm, I would personally say leave Psy Storm as it is. But with all the amount of resources you have to pump into buildings and then the long time it takes to get them. Oh, that was a bad move by the Protoss. The High Templars very rarely prove themselves worthy of the cost. Is this a nuke? Yes, this is a nuke. I'll just show you that in a moment. You can see that the... <laughs> oh, this is so bad for the Protoss right now. Is he going to be moving his units into it? Oh, no. No! Oh, wow, that is the worst thing that could have possibly happened for the Protoss right now. All of his units just come to a complete standstill. He's probably just staring at his screen right now. In ah, absolutely. Look, I, I think he's given up at this point. Everything's at a standstill. Terran player is going to come in and mop things up. He's going to stand inside of the side storms by the looks of it. Not care too much about it. The Medifacts will take care of that. Don't you worry about it. Look at this, the side storms are going. Only if really a few units have died to it. We've seen a lot of units on low HP, but not that many have actually fallen to the side storms, and there was at least four or five there. So, um, yeah, let's... Um, again, I'm going to not say anything. I'll pretty much let the replays show you, and you can make your own assumptions on the what needs to be done about that. But, um, looks like the Protoss is thoroughly thoroughly uh, in trouble here. <laughs> Another nuke is going down. This is great use by the Terran player. Basically, as soon as you put down a nuke in the Ghost Academy, wherever the hell he's got it amongst those buildings, you can start building another nuke. So it takes 20 seconds for a nuke to come down. And let me see if I can find this Ghost Academy. Oh my god, where is it? I think that's an armory. It's an engineering bay. Holy god, that is really nice. If that's right in front of me, I'm going to be really angry. Where the hell has he got that Ghost Academy? It must be there. There we go. It's actually a natural expansion. There we go. 
I can't show you, there we go, it takes 60 seconds to build basically, so if you're quick enough with your macro, and it's not easy to do in these huge battles, if you've got like the Ghost Academy on a hotkey, you go into battle, you use nuke, and as soon as you use nuke, click your hotkey and start building another one. That means that it's only going to be 40 seconds until the next nuke, rather than 60 seconds, because a nuke takes six, 20 seconds to come down. Looks like the Terran player is just going to be bowling into these side storms and this Protoss. Oh, there's nothing the Protoss can do now at this point. This is really one-sided at this point. Look at the resource count of the Terran player. The game is over, by the way. Now, there was no GG. <laughs> I believe the Protoss player was a little frustrated. Otherwise, we probably would have seen a GG go up. What we can see is 11,000 resources, minerals, for the Terran player and 199 for the Protoss. So, um, yeah, what have we learned today? Wow. Um, point defense drones are extremely, extremely good, and we're going to be seeing a lot more of those. Psystorm needs some sort of help. I personally think it could do a little bit more damage, and it should be a little bit to quite a lot more cheaper. And Marauders, well, say what you like about them. They're perfectly balanced and perfectly fine. Oh wait, no they aren't. I'm not going to say too much because people are going to start whining and say, No, they're fine. I know what you guys are like. No, oh, don't nerf that. Screw you, to be honest. Marauders need a change. The concussive shells were not enough. So anyway, I believe that's pretty much all I should be covering right now. So, um, oh yeah, also Medifax. Maybe you have to heal thing as a researchable ability. Who knows. I can get onto these things into another video, so I won't go on about it too much right now. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the game. Pretty good game, to be honest. But it was uh, slowly downhill for the Protoss, unfortunately. So, thank you very much for watching. This has been Witty. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. See you in the future.